who has sailed from New York, thousands of miles across the Atlantic Ocean. Her encounter with high winds and bad weather didn't slow her down. But her last maneuver will be the most impressive of all, docking in Southampton in southern England. Speed 5.8, coming down slowly. She must execute a 180 degree turn and slip sideways alongside the pier. It requires a delicate touch. Speed is five and a half knots. And we're still carrying three degrees set to start. The captain uses the engine pods to slowly break the speed of the ship. That's two knots now. Then he uses the bow thrusters to start pivoting it around. On the swing position, three in the bow starboard now. Going to clear the buoy by eight zero meters. Is that correct? Yeah, that's close. Up. It's an astonishing feat, turning this giant around in a channel that's not much wider than the length of the ship. The next challenge is docking it in exactly the right spot. Okay, I'm on forming. I have a very good view of the dock now on the port bow. We're in an excellent position. So I'm now going to start moving the ship ahead by coming ahead on the fixed pods. Just over 100 meters to come ahead. It's the ultimate parallel parking challenge. Nine zero meters to come ahead. Closing very slowly, coming to a stop. So though we've traveled 3,200 miles, it's down to the final inch. The end of one voyage signals the start of another. And as the ship settles into port, the frenzy and flurry of turnaround day is repeated. 10 hours to load passengers, provisions, and fuel. And turn around and do it all again. This time, it's a Spanish tile company that's chartered the ship for undisclosed millions as a thank you to their customers. How are you? Welcome all right. Queen Mary too. Thank you very much. Nice to have you. Sure. Pleasure. This is my old mayor staff. Wow. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Yes. Mucho gusto. For the passengers, Queen Mary too has an air of effortless elegance. But down below, out of sight, for the crew, there's nothing effortless about it. It's like a a graceful white swan going through the water. To the outside, it's beautifully gliding through the water, but underneath, the uh, web feet are going like mad trying to keep up that speed. There's a lot of feverish activity going on behind the scenes, which the passengers don't see, to make sure we're maintaining the standard they all want and to arrive on schedule. Since her maiden voyage, Queen Mary II has crossed the Atlantic Ocean 60 times and logged more than 80,000 kilometers. In ship terms, she's still just a baby. She'll be expected to keep up this pace for another 37 years. And there's not one of her crew who doubts she can do it.